welcome, welcome back to, to our, our channel. channel. I'm Courtney. And I'm Candace. And today we look like a haggard mess as always when we don't have anything on. <laughs> but um, we're gonna do our next inspired by. Mm. What are we inspired by? We were inspired by the sea. And we wanted to put a little Halloween twist on it. So we're going for a sea witch, witchy, witch queen, costumey look. We're going over the top for Halloween. Mm. It's gonna be our first of three. Yes. So we got two more coming this month for you guys. Mm. I've thoroughly been enjoying, enjoying our um, inspired by series. and getting crazy and <laughs> um, doing more creative things than just like a natural makeup. So, so I'm excited. So am I. I. We are pumped. We are pumped up for this. Should we get started? Yep, let's start. Let's go. Priming, priming our lives away. I am going to use the um, step one. Elf. Makeup. Oh, sorry. Makeup forever step one. I like got on your coattails. <laughs> um, Elf poreless face primer. All right. Next is foundation. So I'm gonna go in really light today again, like I did with Game of Thrones. My whole like backstory on my character is she lives like in a cave. So she doesn't get a lot of light. And I'm a sunbathing witch. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Okay, so I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to I'm gonna go in with the 35B palette and I think I'm gonna take this purple right here. Okay, I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Master Contour and I'm going to contour. Are you? <laughs> so I'm gonna go with the butter bronzer and I'm going to add. I really want a chiseled look all right i'm going on a bigger brush and placing purple <laughs> kind of where i would want a uh contour in a sense a little i am gonna set a, a few areas in my face sometimes the shape tape tends to crease on me mm, me too so so i'm putting powder everywhere where i basically put the shape tape This right here is why I did not come with my hair looking nice today. <laughs> Just messing it all up anyways. I wasn't positive whether or not I was gonna prime my eyes. I think I am a little bit, the lids, um, with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm going for green tonight. Quartz going for blues and purples. Blues and purples. And mostly black, <laughs> really. Okay, I'm gonna go into the Jeffree Star um, Beauty Killer Palette and use Black Rainbow. I really like that it has a glitter to it because um, we're from the sea. I feel like we need an iridescence to us for sure. Yes. Okay, I am going to use this e.l.f. eyeliner and shadow stick. All right, I am now going to go into the Violet Voss Laura Lee Palette, which I've used many times. And I'm going to be using Smash the Green right here and this blue. I'm gonna be t using both of these. I'm gonna go with my trusty NYX Epic Ink Liner um, and sharpen spots up some more. I might do some like veininess with it too. So this is a lot harder than my eyeshadow. So I'm kind of just like waving it back and forth to give myself some weird like lines and texture. going to attempt coming in and kind of giving myself gills in the place of where my contour will be. But I really hope it's turned out. If it doesn't, I'll just blend it all out. <laughs> so I'm just uh, softening my lines and then I'm gonna go in with um, some kind of contour and highlight on them to really make them pop. All right, I'm 
gonna go in with the liner on to give him a really hard line. So I'm really going smudgy. I'm just going to go into the Smashly and I'm only wisping it out again like I did from here about halfway. All right, next I'm going to dip into this cover girl. It's Shimmering Onyx. And I'm gonna use this mineral powder brush from, I don't know, Sephora. And I'm going to just kind of like wisp up with some black. Basically, I'm recontouring with black. I'm gonna go back into the Jeffree Star and pick up Princess. It's an iridescent, like, cool tone pink. Kind of gonna highlight where light would naturally hit a gill, like I know. I'm swinging it here, guys. I might actually use the loo because this is coming out a little too light. When you say it like that, we swing in the bathroom. <laughs> really? The loo, yeah. I'm gonna contour the loo. I'm gonna use this Infallible Paints Liquid Liner in white. Um, it has a like, foam tip on it and sometimes it's kind of hard to use, but I'm just gonna place really like harsh highlight lines um, to maybe, I don't know, add some of that wetness. Hopefully, we'll see how this goes. Not a lot, just a couple of spots. The hardest part is like my hairline is so white. But I'm like trying to cover my, my hairline. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in with the thin side of that elf and I'm basically gonna draw my contour line and I'm gonna blend it up and I'm gonna kind of come up with green. So we'll see how that goes. All right, now that I've got these gills partially under control, um, I'm gonna go in and darken up some of my contour spots with black. I might darken up my forehead too. With the black rainbow from the Jeffree Star. Getting that in your hairline is not easy. I, that was the hardest part for me. It's funny, I have a pimple right here and right here under the black, so. I have a really major one right here and I'm thinking about just making it a mole. <laughs> I'm a witch, right? <laughs> Ooh, good point. I never do moles. Maybe I should do a mole. Now right beneath that, I'm gonna use the same brush because I still want to keep it dark. I'm gonna go back into the butter bronzer and I'm going to drag that down. I'm gonna go in with the Y8, the Morphe Y8. It's a little fluffy, but not too crazy. And I'm going to basically highlight with this green. I'm gonna go in and highlight with <laughs> the NYX Duo Chromatic in Twilight Tint. Um, but I told you guys earlier that I'm basically gonna put it all over my face, but I'm gonna really focus on spots that I want highlighted. I'm gonna wait for my neck to do things because I'm basically gonna have to start whole. Okay, I look a little crazy right now, but I'm going to use this. This was a sample that I got because I wasn't sure. Like, I saw a lot of reviews on the Marc Jacobs highlighter and I wanted to try it before I bought it and it's amazing. So, I'm gonna put it on. Um, I like to, because it is a sample, I like to put it on my hand first because it's kind of awkward to like dig out of. Yeah. So I'm putting it on my hand first and then I'm gonna place it where I want it. So for um, some added highlight spots, I have a NYX gel liner in white and I'm just gonna place, place, it, place it in spots and it's gonna like trick the eye into looking like, I'm, like it's wet. anyone is in the market for a white gel liner, this is your <laughs> your product because it doesn't want to come off. I'm gonna go into the Kat Von D Kiss Lipstick in Neon on my lips. And I'm gonna go in a little bit more um, with a, I really want this contour to be just like cut right here. And to get that, I'm gonna flip this over and do lights right here. Okay, now that I have the black on, ooh, I'm gonna set it with some NYX Duochrome. 
I'm blending out this lighter, the highlight, and I'm gonna set that with some powder. And now I'm gonna do some white spewing out of my lips. In my inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the Stila, uh, what are these called? Magnificent Metals, right here. Next, I am going to use the Wet n Wild Graphic Marker Eyeliner. I'm gonna line and try to do like a wing, but you know how I am with wings. <laughs> I am going to be going in with this e.l.f. gel liner and kind of just drawing some texture lines really lightly in places for a little extra something something. I'm kind of thinking this is like vein, veininess. You know how some fish are so transparent that you can see like their veins popping through? That's what I'm going for. Does it look like that? I don't know. <gasps> I love the glitter. It looks good. <laughs> okay, I'm going crazy. Not that this doesn't look wild already. I'm gonna line my eyebrows with liner. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm going in with some of the, some more of the butter bronzer and I'm just kind of contouring my nose. Okay, so that looks a smidgen cartoony. So I'm gonna go over it with a little bit of powder just to soften it up and make it look a little bit more realistic. Dipping into some more of the the Lou, which is the black color. And I'm just trying to deepen that line that I drew with the eyeliner. All right, guys. I feel like other than lashes, my face is in a pretty good place. So I'm gonna black neck it out. I'm going to use the NYX lip primer to prime my lips right now. I'm loving it. I love yeah. the glitter. That's what I need, glitter. <laughs> and because Courtney put on her lips, I like that you can see kind of where her look's going. So I'm gonna add on my butter gloss in blackberry pie. All right, I'm taking black rainbow and going for it. I actually kind of like that it's not solid. <laughs> like it's getting a pattern. Mm -hmm. I am overlining. I don't want them to look super perfect. Uh, I want them to look a little, I want them to look a little bit bigger than they are, um, but I'm not going too crazy. All right, I'm gonna go in with some black sequins. I'm gonna use eyelash glue to glue these on. I'm going to kind of go under my eye and then I'm gonna put them where my brows are. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. We're past the point of looking crazy. I think the easiest way to do this is to dot the glue and then place the sequins, but we'll find out. All right, your girl's going back in with the NYX. <laughs> Can you see those sequins? So I'm taking my black NYX Epic Ink and just texturing myself because I'm obsessed <laughs> with texture and color and you get the gist. <laughs> and now I can go over my pimple. <laughs> And I'm adding some pearls to the ends of my sequins. I think I might be ready for lashes. Because once you do lashes, you can really see That's what very, you very true. All right. So we just popped lashes on, and Candace made a fantastic point about um, it really helping you feel more complete and, you know, hopefully we're not overdoing something or underdoing something. Mm -hmm. Lashes just. Oh, They're yeah. like the cherry on top. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so I realized um, that I forgot to do my neck. So I'm going to do that really quick. So I'm going to go dark right here. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try to use this Kabuki. 
And then I think I'm gonna pull the green down. While Candace is doing her neck, I'm gonna go in and place glitter methodically. I will be using the Stila Magnificent Metal and the Urban Decay Heavy Metal. got our crowns on. We took a dip in the ocean. Got caught in a net. We even brought some souvenirs back. <laughs> Here you are, my sister. <laughs> All right, Courtney, what do you think? I love it so much. So Courtney is star. And Candace is onyx. The sea witch cousins. <laughs> All right, guys, we have two more crazy Halloween inspired bites coming at you. But if you have any suggestions in general, don't forget to put them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Like. And follow us on Instagram at Courtney and Candice. All right, guys. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.